Yo, what's going on guys? And today we'll be talking about the Portland Trailblazers and their coaching candidates. It's really come down what seems to be three or four guys. One of them actually, let me rephrase that, three about three guys and one woman. And Becky Hammond has received her second interview and it's pretty, pretty awesome to see this, okay? So basically, from what we're hearing is that Chauncey Billups and Becky Hammond advanced the second interviews with Portland Trailblazers according to Adrian Wojnarowski. And that means like both LA Clippers assistant Bill Ups and San Antonio Spurs assistant Becky Hammond are merged, merging as a, the leading candidates for the job. In addition, there are a few other people with second interviews or still in the leading categories and that's Mike D'Antoni. And if you guys don't know, Billups has been in contact with several teams in the search process and remains with the Clippers in their Western Conference final series against the Suns. This is Billups' first season as an assistant coach in the NBA. He was a five-time NBA All-Star and was in the NBA Finals in 2004 and was the MVP of that Finals. Hammond, who became the first female head coach in NBA history, has been on the Greg Popovich staff for seven seasons and has interviewed for several jobs in recent years. She was a six-time WNBA All-Star in her professional playing career. And I said she has become, she would become the first female head coach, correction, but she was, I'm pretty sure, the first female assistant. And basically, this team has been looking for a new coach since Terry Stotts left. Becky Hammond, I assume, would have a similar game as the modern day Spurs, where it's a lot of transition offense, transition offense and defense, a lot of perimeter defense with a rim runner slash rebounder shop locker, Yoko Pertle, Ju Eubanks what we've seen you know Dwight Howard type mold players okay is what probably Becky Hammond's going to be running Chauncey Billups I feel like Chauncey Billups probably has a lot to do with the Nico Batum Paul George Kawhi Leonard now it's you know Pat Bev Marcus Morris and either uh, Terrence Mann or you know Rajon Rondo off the bench which is hit I believe his contribution to the small ball ideology that he's put there so with the Blazers, I could see them running, a, maybe moving on from Collins and Nurkic with either Ham. Nurkic would stay if Hammond became the coach, but Nurkic I don't think would stay with Bill Ups. Maybe they do, but I feel like he would just be wanting to find someone more into his scheme and cheaper. Now, if they go Mike D'Antoni, the reason why I don't think Mike D'Antoni is the coach, they're looking for someone who's going to coach defense, okay? Becky Hammond's going to coach defense. That's what Greg Popovich does. Chauncey Billups, you know, we that's up in the air, but he played for the Detroit Pistons. He was an integral part of that, and he was a he was known as a very defensive player. So him, naturally, we assume, be a defensive-minded coach in that sense, that he'd be better at teaching defense. Terry Stotts hadn't had a top 10 defense, top 15 defense in a while. So... Obviously, the Blazers want a coach that will be coaching defense. It might be a Tony Yale get you a top five offense, top ten offense at the very least. And you'll be scoring a bunch of points. You know, Damian Lillard will probably be an MVP candidate. But you're probably going to get rid of Nurkic for more shooting. You're going to get rid of Collins, Cantor. You're going to get rid, maybe, I, don't, I think you probably keep Robert Covington. But you're going to get a lot, rid of a lot of players to fit Mike D'Antoni's scheme. So, now... I think Mike D'Antoni is the least likely. I'm going with Chauncey Billups because he's been endorsed by Damian Lillard, and Damian Lillard has said that he has like final say. He's one of he's he has what he believes is going to go a far way. Okay, and I believe he has final say. He's basically going Peyton Manning, Tom Brady on this hiring, where he is in pro, probably in all the meetings, asking questions, having the coaches kind of sell themselves to Damian Lillard. This is Damian Lillard's team, so. That's where it comes down to, like, if they can, who impresses him the most. And nothing wrong with Becky Hammond. I don't think Becky Hammond's going to be the coach, nor do I think Mike D'Antoni. I do truly believe it's going to be Chauncey Billups. So I want to hear right now down below, guys, who do you guys think is going to be the head coach for the Portland Trailblazers? I'm going with, again, a Chauncey Billups. Unless the Boston Celtics come out of right field and take him, I think it's going to be Chauncey Billups is the new head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. Let me hear your guys' thoughts again down below. Who do you think are, why do you think 
Chauncey's is or isn't going to be the coach. Let me hear why you think Mike D'Antoni is going to be the coach or if he's not. And why do you think Becky Hammond is going to be the coach and why not if she isn't? So let me hear those thoughts. That's basically the video, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. Till next time, guys. Peace out.